Imagine this being your bedroom. I love the colors, it is so pretty. Oh my gosh, they're keeping a cow plant named Blueberry. Hello and welcome back to another castle showcase video. This is my fourth or fifth video showcasing palaces that you all have built. This is backed by popular demand. A lot of people were requesting this. So in the past, I have shown you all multiple palaces, tried to show some different ones based on like fantasy or aesthetic or different cultures. In this video, I do have one big palace to show you, one like semi big palace to show you, and then the rest are a bit more for medium lots. So if you are looking for something for around like a 40 by 30 lot, then I have have some palaces for you all to see. This first palace is Palace of Versims, so a little play on Palace of Versailles by Golden Prince 115. It is for a 64 by 64 lot. This is the biggest palace I am showing you all today, and we have about six builds that I'm going to show you too, but um, this is the only one for a 64 by 64 lot. Love it with reshade. It looks absolutely stunning. So, so beautiful. So I'm just going to give you all a little peek of the outside, and then we'll do a quick tour of the interior for each of them. I have King Chattius here. He is a stream favorite on my Twitch streams. Um, so he's going to be in all of the households showing them to you all today. So you guys can see a little bit of the back. This is gorgeous. I'm loving all of the columns, all of the windows. Again, this is a little play on the Palace of Versailles. I actually haven't seen any of the interior for any of the palaces yet, so I'm very excited. Um, so let's start on the first floor. It looks like we have a basement to get to as well. This here is the main foyer. This actually looks like it is the throne room, pardon me, not the foyer, but I'll let you all see it in cinematic mode here. This is gorgeous. It has like this wraparound staircase and a balcony that you can see from the second floor. Floor, so that is absolutely stunning. So it does look like the main entrances are actually on the side So you can enter from either way and in the middle it meets to be that throne room Um, you can see a little sort of ballroom party area here is where you can throw your events you Have a gigantic bar with a little drink waiting for us here a dance floor and a place for a pianist And then we have another grand hallway right here a great place to put your portraits of your royals if you have a royal family that you're playing with as well. And then it looks like this is the kitchen over here. Um, and then we have the banquet hall, a very long banquet table. So you can have plenty of guests for your parties here. And then on the other side of the throne room, we have a sitting area or a parlor room. And then we have a little art room here. It looks like this is, well, where they do the portraits. So that is great. It's beautiful. It has such a nice backdrop there already. And then the easels waiting for your painter to paint portraits of your royal families um, and it looks like we have another portrait area here so that's really cool there's two different styles a much more lighter airy background for your portraits and then a much more um, dark sophisticated sort of background here and then over here we have another hallway and then that leads to an indoor pool which is so great that pool looks deep too I don't know why it just is it really, really deep? Is that, oh my gosh, wait, yeah, it's like a two, two story pool, so yes. So that is the first floor, and then if you go up to the second floor, as we saw from the throne room, there is a balcony area from the second floor for you to see down into the throne room. And then over here, we have a bedroom. This is a gorgeous bedroom with such a nice sitting area and a piano. Everything is this very elegant light blue. This is actually the longest I think I've ever seen a bench next to a bedroom. I absolutely love the way this bedroom is set up. And then that bedroom, this must be one of the grand bedrooms because that bedroom has a walk-in closet. There's actually stairs that leads to the closet. So that's kind of crazy. Those stairs actually also go down into the basement where the vault is. That's insane. So that's a giant walk-in closet. This must be for the monarchs 
because that is just like the most access to the castle and it's ginormous. And then they have this beautiful bathroom with the marble. And then over here is another bedroom, not quite as big of a closet, but that is still a very nice closet. I really like the way this is laid out. So this, when you are in here, it kind of looks like this is the shape of the closet. You can't quite see how it is a square, um, more so for the room. Um, and then it's got a lot of sitting areas for that bedroom. And then, wow, whoa, okay. They have three bathtubs. Wow. <laughs> I guess they can take, wait, there's two toilets too. I guess you have your choice. You have your choice of toilets and bathtubs if you are staying in this bedroom, that's amazing. Next to the bedrooms, it has this really nice hallway, this very long hallway. So then the other side over here, we have a study. This is so nice. This is actually, I need to use it more. This is one of my favorite objects in The Sims. I love in real life, like miniatures. Um, so the fact that we have one in The Sims and that we can use it for the study, that is great. This is laid out so nicely. I love the way that the book cases and the fireplace frame this photo here um, and it looks like there's two desks as well and just a bunch of bookcases so it acts as a library too um, and then over here it looks like we have the servants quarters um, so there's four different bedrooms here and then they have their own stairway as well from the kitchen so that is perfect um, and then there is this bedroom here it uses a realm of magic bed um, I absolutely love that bed and the stained glass and then they have a desk in here and they also have a bathroom with their choice of toilets and bathtubs. It really does make it look so grand, but I'll give you guys a little peek here. Hopefully I'm not going too fast. I don't wanna make anyone dizzy. Um, I've just, you know, we have a lot of palaces to get through. So apologies if I am making anyone dizzy, I'm gonna try to slow it down a bit. And then is there a third? Oh my gosh, there is a third floor. Okay. Okay, so you can access the third floor from these staircases in the hall, not necessarily from the grand staircase, but this is a grand looking staircase. This is cool. So it leads you up to these foyers on either side, but in the middle here, wait, no, this has to be the monarch's bed. Oh my gosh, these bedrooms are amazing. Like this is gorgeous. The, the stairs in the bed, like this is so creative. Look at this. So you can go in and then there's this like hallway or this archway that leads to the beds that's guarded by statues or you can go around. There's pianos, there is the grandma gramophone um, and then the sitting area here. This is beautiful. Just kind of like look at this view, like w imagine this being your bedroom. It has a loft. So the, that's where the staircase leads to this loft. They have a desk. Oh my gosh, this is, a this is, oh my, uh, whoa. <laughs> okay, I was not expecting the skeleton. <laughs> that might scare me if I were to sleep here. Luckily it's not right next to the bed, but this is amazing. Also, I forgot to say this earlier, but I did not build, I, th I think that's a given. I just wanna make sure you guys know too, but I did not build any of these palaces. These are community built palaces. So requirements to be featured in the video is that it has to be an original palace built by the actual creator. Cause it'll say like who the original is by sometimes. So if it's not by you, I can't show it. Um, and then no CC and fully furnished as well. So if you want one of your builds featured, you can put the hashtag mirror right builds. But yeah, okay, so that palace or this room is absolutely amazing. So if you go in on this side, this is an, I love these second story overlooks. This is an overlook into that study. Absolutely beautiful. Um, and then we have this hallway here lined with torches. And then this is like, a wizard's bedroom. Oh my gosh. Okay, so if you have any magical, si the lines of crystal balls. Look, look at this. Okay, so this is definitely very fitting if your Sims are spellcasters or if they have maybe a royal family spellcaster, a royal family wizard, maybe that one that is a bit more in secret and kept by the royal family. That sounds a little messed up. Maybe not that. Or maybe that if you want some drama in your Sims, but this is so cool. I just had to appreciate this and reshade it really quick because the colors and everything are very cool. Um, and then on the other side of that bedroom, we have a, another gorgeous bedroom. I love, I love kind of like lighter. Oh, well, hello. 
I love kind of the lighter, airier bedrooms. Loving the pink. This is a gorgeous and very grand bedroom. And then we have a bathroom for them as well. And then it looks like another, this looks like a little bit of a collectibles. We've got hidden doors. So this, oh my gosh, they're keeping a cow plant named Blueberry. The lore of this castle is kind of crazy. I am appreciating a lot. This castle has so much character to it. Um, and then we do have a fourth floor, but that's just the loft area that you guys already saw. But let's go down to the basement because we have a lot of other palaces to get to. Um, so if you go down into the basement, we have a safe full of gold, full of jewelry, full of paintings and just like very valuable things. So they have this, and this is probably the biggest vault that full of riches I have ever seen. Um, and then it looks like there is this ladder area here. I'm going to assume maybe for the staff um, to get some supplies and stuff here. And then they have this long hallway and then they have other bedrooms, maybe also for the staff. Oh my gosh. And then this room where it looks like rituals happen or maybe this is just the crypt but i think because of the realm of magic flooring i thought this is kind of where rituals happen this is cool this is kind of crazy that's awesome okay and that is the palace of Ver sims so next i will be showing you beast castle with stables this is by ichiru kong and i am showing another palace by this creator i try to show at least just one per creator for these videos, but they had so many gorgeous palaces. I, I had, you have to check out their page. I had to feature at least a couple of them. Um, same thing with the previous creator. Um, I just, they had so many to choose from. I didn't know what to choose. So this is the second biggest palace we are going to see today. It is on a 50 by 40 lot. This uses a lot of the castle kit and I'm a big fan of this kit. I have built a palace by using the items of this kit too. It is absolutely stunning. When you first walk into here so you're going up the pathway and then when you enter you see this gorgeous grand staircase here i love the ones that kind of go up half onto the platform and then the the other floor um and then let's let's try to do this for some of the palace i don't think i'm going to be able to do it every time um but i want to show you here because i think it's very cool but here you can see the ballroom with the dance floor and then we have a piano we have a lot of mirrors here too wait yes yes mirrors um which i think is very very cool and then in this room here it goes into the banquet room which is so cute i love the green and these plants actually work perfectly for this too that is a gorgeous banquet room it almost looks like a family dining room too i think the fireplace makes it look very cozy and then in here we have the kitchen where the staff makes the food and then in here maybe the oh oh wow okay and then here is leads to outside just this gorgeous gorgeous view of um i guess this is newcrest it kind of looks like willow creek i guess a lot of the wolves look like willow creek um and then if you go into here we have a grand hallway okay let's see each of the rooms so in here we have a bathroom um, and then if you go across the hall here, we have a sitting room. This, there's a lot of green in this palace and it looks very, very nice. The dark blue and the dark green looks wonderful together. Um, and then if you go out back into the hallway and go into this door on the left, we have another bathroom here. So if you have a lot of guests, they have their choices of bathrooms. And then if you go into this room, we have a beautiful hallway. I love the way this one is decorated. Um, and then this room here, you can see it leads back into the foyer where the grand staircase is. I'm going to assume the other one does the same. Yes, for symmetry reasons. Yes, perfect. Um, and then you can go back into here for another hallway. Um, and then in this door here, you have another sitting area. There is chess. There is some place it looks like people do their knitting here and their embroidery, which is very cool. Got a lot of hobbies in here. We have a restroom in here as well. I like the way the bathrooms are all kind of different. Hello, King Chattius. Um, and then if you go into here, we have another little hallway. All right, I might have to zoom out. Whoa, this is a cool bar area. Okay, yeah, no, this is really pretty. The colors are so nice. I feel like I'm missing some of the rooms. Okay, that one goes back into the foyer. Okay, this is another, whoa. <gasps> oh my gosh. Y'all, look at this. 
Okay, there, this, there's an overlook to the study here. There's a desk over here. Um, it looks like Ying Chais is climbing up the stairs to go to the desk. This is a little nursery area. There's a place for a puppet show. There's a bathroom in here. And then the actual nursery is here where there are cribs. This is really cool. I, I don't think I actually finished going through the first floor though. Just to make sure I don't miss anything, I'm going to do an aerial view here. It looks like this was the room I missed before, but there is an art room. I love the use of the curved walls. This is beautiful. And then and yeah, the little study area here, which will lead us upstairs to the overlook area. I just showed you all the nursery and the hallway. I'm going to assume this is a staff room here. Again, love the use of the curved walls. Let's try to go back into cinematic mode and see if I can show you the palace this way. Um, this is the second floor where you can overlook the foyer. I love the way it is laid out. It's stunning. And then if we go into this, we have a bedroom here. I'm going to assume this is a bathroom or a closet. Oh, okay, that leads into the hallway. And there's another bedroom in here. Again, the use of the colors is actually amazing. And um, we have a little vanity over there with a wardrobe. And then we have over here, we have another little hallway area. We have another bedroom here. Love the color scheme. Um, this is a bathroom for that bedroom. And then if we go back out, let's see, did I miss anything? Okay, so there is another bedroom in here, a little mint green bedroom, which is very, very cute. And they have a little desk as well. Then if we go into here, we have the hallway. This is another bedroom. There, are, There's a good amount of bedrooms. So if you have a big family, even though, I mean, this is a 50 by 40 lot. It's not a 64 by 64, but if you have a big family, this palace can hold it 100%. Um, and then it goes back out into the foyer area here. I think, yes, that was all the bedrooms. And then I showed you the nursery already. Um, and then if we go up another floor, oh, we have like one or two bedrooms. I think I might not have had a pack here so there might be some of those blue square carpets that is not meant to be in the palace that's just what was substituted because I don't have the pack um, but we have a little medieval looking gym here some workout equipment and then if you go over here we have it kind of like a little sitting area um, if not like a waiting hallway area and then that goes out to the balcony here which you can see a gorgeous view of Newcrest it actually looks very stunning for today in this game in this sim day um, it looks very very pretty and then we have another bedroom here this is a very much medieval vibing sort of bedroom and then we have a little sitting area here again not the carpet that was meant to be in this room um, but they all have balcony areas which are very nice it looks like that bedroom and the gym also have a nice balcony area too and then on the top top floor we have another Overlook, I can see a lot of maybe like forbidden romances happening here or just like a little romantic spot um, kind of really high up on the tower of the palace. And then in here, sorry for the wonky camera angle, but in here we have a hobby room, foosball table. Again, not the carpets that were meant to be in here. Um, we have a little card table. And then over here we have some bedrooms, mostly meant for the staff, I'm going to assume. And I think that's everything for the palace. Yeah, no basements, but again, the use of the colors, the layout, the use of the curves of the walls, everything looks stunning. The next palace I am showing you all is the Tomorong Palace. So this is the other one built by Golden Prince 115. Again, they just had so many gorgeous builds. I. I had to show some, especially because I wanted to show a bit more diverse builds, and they do have a lot of diverse builds. This one is much more on the smaller side. It is for a 40 by 30 lot. There are only three bedrooms and four bathrooms, and it's two stories, but it is absolutely stunning, and I wanted to show it off. You can see the palace here with the gorgeous view, um, but I want to show you just kind of stepping in here because I think they did a really good job with the landscaping. So this is the entrance over here and then you can see this fountain here when you enter and the palace grounds but we can see all the statues and everything here they have these kind of pagoda I saw my reshade on but they have these kind of pagoda areas over here um, and then kind of opening into the world so the fence is not fully closed but 
if you want it to be fully closed, that can easily be done. Um, and then on this side, it kind of has the same thing. But I kind of like that it is open so this entire area looks like it's the palace grounds. Um, and then let's go up on the main entrance in the center here at the statues. Oh wait, oh no, that's not the center. Okay, we're just gonna have to go up on the side. For some reason, I thought that was the center entrance. Um, but if you go on the left over here, you can see we have a bedroom. I love the use of the curtains here to make it look like a canopy and it's such an open, breathable bedroom. I want to take a trip here. Oh my gosh, okay, hello. This is stunning. This is the foyer area. We have this gorgeous fountain and then just these like little sitting areas. This looks so serene. So gorgeous. I love the use of all the decorations that came with the pack. I see a lot of the Oasis Courtyard kit objects as well. And then we go in on this side and we have a sitting area here, an absolutely breathtaking sitting area. That is the top floor. And then we go down here and there is a staircase going down on both sides. And you can see we have the, oh, this is spazzing a little bit, but we have the banquet hall here this is this is gorgeous there's a, a plenty of room for a party here and then over here we have the kitchen in this room on the side we have a bathroom I'm obsessed with this sink it's stunning I love sinks with bowls as the sink for whatever reason they're so cute um, and then on the other side whoa okay first of all this with the organ looks stunning and I love the way they used the paddle paneling. We have bathrooms on each side of the kitchen um, and then in here we have just the, the area where you come down from the stairs. And then we have another bedroom here. This is gorgeously set up. Again, it looks so serene. Um, and then over here we have, I'm gonna assume the bathroom, yes. Okay, this is the bathroom. I love the way that it's laid out. I know this is such a small space, but I really think they made great use of it. And then over here, we have another bedroom, just another color, but it's pretty much symmetrical in the way that it is set up. And then if you guys saw, there was this little sanctuary area over here, which is, I love this. It's so pretty. I think it just represents the culture very well. Um, I think they did a really good job with that, so. That is pretty much the entire lot. Again, a small palace, but I do, we'll, we'll see some more small palaces in a moment. Most of them for 40 by 30, just in case you need a palace for your smaller lot or for your nobles, um, or just like a really nice house for your rich family. All right, so this next castle I am showing you is also for a 40 by 30 lot. It is called Castle Royal and it is by Samantha Builds. I've shown some of her builds before. They are stunning. She has so many of them. I highly recommend checking out her profile on the gallery. There's five bedrooms and two bathrooms here. So I'll just show it to you all again in reshade. I love seeing the palaces in reshade. It truly makes such a difference. I think this actually might be the front of the palace, uh, pardon. So this is the front of the palace that you all can see here. Um, and then we have a gate here. This might not have been the best lot to put it on. I'm sure there's another one with the lot facing the street or something with a pathway. Um, but let me show you all the entrance here. So we'll we'll see how far we can get with the entrance um, and doing cinematic or like a POV sort of way like this. Um, so again, you enter, you can see the beautiful garden area. There's so much going going on here. There are a lot of fountains and little gardening areas, little gardening plots as well. Um, and then if you go up the staircase here, we can enter into the grand foyer area. So this is the foyer. We have a bubble, bubble blower. Is that what they're called in The Sims? Um, and then we have a piano and a little sitting area here. So when your guests enter, this is the first thing that they will see. Um, and then we have a little sitting area here as well. And then if we go Go straight ahead. I'm probably gonna have to go back because I might be missing some things, but this is cool. It is so, it has this overgrown sort of jungly vibe, which I am a huge fan of. This is stunning. Um, but if you go directly back here, whoa, this is so pretty. So this is, I don't know if this is the banquet hall. Hello, King Chatties. I don't know if this is the banquet hall or if this is just the family sort of breakfast area, but I 
love the color scheme. Purple and pink are my favorite colors, um, and I just like love the plants that are going on here. Um, if we go back into this over here, you can see this is the backyard area. There is an onsen, there is a pool, there's a little sitting area, there's a hot tub, there's a grill, uh, there is some monkey bars for children too. So there are a lot of activities for your sims over here. Um, and then if you looked on this side, we had King Chadius dancing. So we have a little record player here for your sims to just vibe to some music and also just sit and chat on that little couch. Um, and then on this side, we have the kitchen perfectly connected. I'm gonna assume that is the banquet area. So perfectly connected so they can, uh, the staff can bring the guests the food. Um, and then over here we have just this cool, this is more for decoration um, and you can kind of see it. I don't know if you can enter this area here, but um, when you're sitting in the sitting area, um, you can kind of admire like this little garden here. I'm gonna just zoom out so I can make sure I'm not missing anything on this first floor. All right, that's, that. yeah, yeah, okay. I think I got everything, um, but you can kind of see, you don't have to just enter here directly to the banquet area. You can also kind of go through these doors over here to the sides. Um, and then if we go onto the second floor and we go up the staircase, we have, the, I don't know what are these rooms called with the staircase, a staircase area, a foyer, but on the second floor. Um, but if you go straight ahead, there is a restroom, a very open one too. This gets a lot of light. Um, and then over here we have a bedroom. I think I, I might be missing some packs, which is why some wallpaper might be missing. So apologies for that. Um, and then over here, we have another bedroom. These are so beautifully decorated, very bohemian vibe, which I adore. And then over here we have a, another bedroom. I'm. This might be a master bedroom, um, but this is gorgeous. It's huge and it has this sitting area. The colors are very like jewel tone and it makes it very grand. And if you go here, we have a hallway. We have a, another little sitting area here that's also very open. This palace is just very open in general. And then over here we have some bookcases. I'm think this might be the library or like a study area. Um, and then we're back to the bedroom over there. And then what did I miss here? So this has a little overlook into the other room where we saw the pond earlier. I just love this feature, it's very nice. And then we have a very gorgeous bathroom in here too. Lots of natural woods. So there's not really a third floor. We just kind of get the high ceilings for the tower. So this is mostly a two bedroom place, but there's a lot of really cute nook and cranny areas, a lot of little hidden features, um, and a lot of activities for your sims as well. This next build I'm going to show you is a manor. It is called Limewood Manor by Frog Princess Meg. This one is for a 40 by 40 lot, um, but this is a bit more for your noble families. I put this one here in Brindleton Bay and I will show you all the entrance. This one actually has a lot of activities, I guess, for the children. Um, you'll see there's like a little, a little education area, um, which I think is perfect. So if you go here, you enter the foyer. I'll turn off free shade, but you can see the foyer here. I love the way that this is decorated. I love the way that the staircase is laid out. I um, mean, you can see all the awards and the pictures, kind of like family heirloom area for your noble family. And then on the right here, we have a study and I love the archway for this. This uses items from the castle kit as well. And we have a little library here. And of course my favorite little miniature display as well. Um, over here we have have a game area, a sitting area, just like a little lounge area for your Sims. I love the way that the curtains frame the TV over there. Um, and then just some other decor items and a little easel over here. Um, and then in this room, you can see this is kind of straight ahead from the foyer. It leads out to the backyard, the patio over here. And then you can see the banquet area. I love this table, it's so pretty. So our little banquet area for the Sims to have guests and the kitchen that connects. And then in this room here, we have a little cellar. Um, I'm going to just zoom out so we can see everything and to make sure I don't miss anything. In this room, we we see a little music area. So this is to the left, ooh, whoops. This is to the left of the foyer. We have a room where you can entertain your guests. We have a piano, plenty of music instruments, and a microphone as well. And then in this room, we have our little dance area. So you can have little dance parties here. I love the way that this 
has just kind of like an audience, a space for the audience too, so they don't just have to stand. And that is connected to the banquet room, which I think is great. Um, and then on this side here, you can see we have a bedroom. Um, this is a cute little bedroom. I love the colors here too. This has a bathroom that's up on the platform, the jacuzzi. And then in here we have our little closet area. So then we go up to the second floor um, and from our little grand staircase and it has a spa. I have memories with making a little spa in a castle just from my royal family series. So I absolutely love this. Um, this room we have a sauna and then over here we have a restroom slash locker room area. Um, and then if we go back around over here, we have the hallway and then in this room we have, ooh, whoa, whoa, okay. This is clearly for a teenager and I love the personality that this room has. And it has a little bunk bed too, if you're little noble family, if the kids want to share a room. Um, and then we have a bathroom over here. And then if we go back out, to the hallway, we have, is this another bedroom? Oh, okay, so this is what I was talking about. So your kids can be homeschooled here pretty much. Like I feel like that's what this is set up for and I love that because a lot of, before I had like the high school pack and all that stuff, I kind of said that my Royal Sims were homeschooled. So this is actually a perfect area for that because I never really had an area for it. So this works perfectly if you want your kids and your noble families to be homeschooled. And then we have the nursery over here which is connected to the sort of education area and I think that works perfectly too. Um, and then we have a little bathroom that clearly has like kid stuff in it. So I love the, the charm um, and how everything is very well thought out. And then in this room, so this over here, it's a bedroom. I love that the stained glass matches the curtains. And then we have a bunch of pictures and a little desk over here. Um, this room also has a lot of personality. We have a chess table. We have a closet, a very nice walk-in closet, I must say. And then over here, we have a bathroom. Yes, so we have a bathroom area. And then over here, we have, it looks like a little game room. Um, so it has the, what is that called? like a VR sort of virtual video game. We have a TV, we have some ping pong um, and another bubble blower. blower. <laughs> Uh, and then a little bar drinks area too, and then a karaoke station. So this is so much fun. Like there's literally so many activities. Oh my gosh. Okay, I love the gnomes. <laughs> this is, I didn't even know you could put them into this place. That is so cute. And then let's see, did I miss anything? We got the sauna already, and then we kind of saw the bedrooms here. I think I got everything on this floor. Um, and those are the two floors, no basement here. But yes, again, this, if you just want something with a lot of activities for your normal families, um, it has a great layout and it has just so many things for your families to do. Did I even see this bathroom? I did, okay, that was the one on the counter, but I love the way that this bathroom is laid out. So yes, again, another little house for a 40 by 40 lot for your noble families. All right, and the last palace I'm showing you all today is the Yellow Palace with Stable. This is also by Ichiro Kang. This one is for a 40 by 30 lot. There are nine bedrooms and six bathrooms, so there are plenty of spaces for a big family or if you have multiple staff members. This palace, I think, looks especially great in Tartosa. I love the colors. It is so pretty. And as it mentions in the title, it has a horse stable, so you can have your royal horses here. So if you enter, the, I'm really excited to see all of these bathrooms and bedrooms that it mentions. So if you enter the main entrance here, you can see the foyer area and the grand staircase. On the right here, we have an entertainment and ballroom area. This has a gorgeous dance floor, a platform or a stage where there's a microphone and multiple, not multiple musicians, multiple instruments. <laughs> well, I could not think of the word for a second. And then just like chairs all around for people to spectate or sit if they don't feel like dancing anymore. On the left here, we have a hallway with multiple rooms that we will check out. I love the colors. We have the same
sitting room here. This is beautiful, this little parlor. I would love to hang out in there. We have the banquet hall, plenty of chairs for a good amount of guests. You could have a lot of guests here. And then in this room over here, oh, whoa. Okay, so this is the hallway. Let's see, did we check out everything already on the first floor? Okay, we did, yes. All right, so that leads downstairs, but let's go upstairs first. So when you go upstairs, you will see all of the bedrooms. So we have multiple here. Again, loving the colors, the way that everything is designed. This is one of the bedrooms. This is another bedroom. This bedroom here has its own bathroom. Um, this bedroom, do you also have your own bathroom? You do. I think this is a Jack and Jill bathroom. Yes. So this leads and shares with the other bedroom, the red bedroom here. Over on this side, excuse the camera work. Um, we have a children's area. I love all the, the nurseries that are here. We have a children's area, a little nursery with, it looks like more like a child's bedroom, um, but it's still very elegant. I love that. And then over here we have, sorry for the camera angle, it looks really weird, um, but we have another restroom over here. And then on this side we have a place with the cribs for the infants, a little play mat as well, and a changing area. And then on this side here, we are back into the main staircase. And then I think I did get all of the bedrooms on that side. If we go downstairs from the main entrance, you can see we have our stables as mentioned in the title. I love that each horse area has their own flag. I think that's very cute. And then over here, we have multiple bedrooms for, I'm going to assume the staff. Um, I like the use of the bunk beds here as well. They have their own restrooms, or at least some of them do. They're shared ba uh, shared bathrooms. And then over here, we have the kitchen that has the staircase that goes upstairs that leads to the banquet hall, so it's very convenient. And then over here, we have bathrooms. We have a little wine making, juice making area and the cellar, the wine cellar. Um, and then over here, it leads back outside. And that is our last palace. And of course we have this little horse area where they can train over here. Um, but yeah, that is everything. So I hope you all enjoyed seeing these palaces. It was nice to do another one so you all can see these amazing builds. Again, if you want one of your build featured for the next time, make sure to do the hashtag Ray builds. Make sure it is an original build. That means that you built it from scratch on your own. Make sure there is no custom content and please make sure that it is fully furnished and I will try to feature it in the next video. If this was helpful, make sure you hit that like button Button. The information for all the creators are in the description below, so make sure to check them out, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!